My name is Saran Norris and I'm a local artist here in San Francisco. A painting mural is different than doing fine art or commercial art because you have a bit of a responsibility in terms of uh, the voice that you're going to throw out there. Uh, Diego Rivera said art is propaganda and it is religious art, uh, political art. It's all out there to send a message and you have to realize that and it's important to kind of put something out there that serves the community, that serves yourself. My name is Mona Caron. I'm a mural artist here in San Francisco and also an illustrator. I grew up in uh, southern Switzerland, in the Italian-speaking part of Switzerland. I visited this place. I came here actually a long time ago as a student to learn English and I fell in love with the city and I just had to come back. Painting murals is completely different than other types of art making because it's not so isolating. I feel that when I do illustrations, I'm just, it's just myself in my studio. I create the work of art and absolutely nobody witnesses the process. Like all you present is the finished product, voila, and nobody has any idea of what I went through. In public art, everybody sees all the mistakes I make, all of the process and all of the changes that happen between the preliminary sketches and the actual final mural. When I got my first mural, I was in San Francisco for maybe three years. Coming from Ohio, being of mixed race, um, half black, half white, I had no really big kind of ethnic group to attach myself to in terms of, of its history. Much like uh, the murals in the Mission, you know, they have uh, uh, this intense pride attached to them um, as far as the culture that they, they illustrate. Diego Rivera, I mean, he might have huge murals that are filled with all kinds of, of, of things about Aztec history and, you know, leaders of, of the modern day, but he also will put in there things about his personal relationships. I knew that eventually I was going to have to, if I really wanted to, 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 to do a good mural that really kind of supported the community, I was going to have to find something in a subject matter that meant something to me, but it also meant something to the, the area where my mural was, was at. This mural, yeah, might be about gentrification, but I, I also have issues with uh, basically saying that gentrification is completely wrong. Um, it's not so cut and dry. There's a lot of anecdotal situations in there. So what I tried to do is, yeah, I tried to express that, but also in a lot of very subtle um, metaphorical ways, I also tried to express the fact that I, I also think that there's a way that people go about doing things that we cannot criticize. Right here I'm working on a project that consists of two um, murals facing each other over a parking lot. This parking lot is a farmer's market, an organic farmer's market on Saturdays. And I'm trying to tie in um, the existence of this little farmer's market and really emphasize it through the depiction of uh, vegetables um, in really large scale. I think that the Pan American Unity mural is pretty much, it's really hard to get close to that in terms of its just mind-boggling mastery and beauty and Rivera in general, just even just the really sophisticated color um, usage that he has. I mean, this is on top of all the content and all the complexity of his actual designs. However, there is another one that I think is really great that I love to just visit with people, which is um, at the Rincon Annex Postal Office downtown um, by Anton Refragie. And uh, that one, just in terms of like the, the radicality of its content, I think it's a really bold mural. The Pan American Unity mural is, is my favorite of Diego Rivera's work and my favorite mural in San Francisco because I feel it pulls out all the stops in terms of Diego Rivera's collection of work. I mean, you have everything in there. You've got um, all his heroes of, of Mexican culture. You have all our heroes of American culture as far as, as people who really uh, led our country you know, into something good. At that point, he did it on Treasure Island, so the guy had a great view. Obviously, we caught him at a good time, and he came and he gave us everything. Uh, and it's just, I, it, I wish it was a little bit more accessible than it is for people to see. 
Um, but it's, it's definitely a treasure that we have in the city.